gummy for the next three to four months no so hey what's good my youtube fam this your girl harmony b coming at you with yet another video but before you do anything else please make sure you smash that subscribe button turn your post notifications on all of that good stuff because if you with this team you already know that i come with nothing but the best content and we be lit up in this thing so yeah so with today's video i try to give y'all like a, a cozy little vibe you know it's winter time I had some coffee earlier, but like it's like 12-ish o'clock right now, so yeah. But anywho, in today's video, we'll be talking about my braces. I had two or three people actually hit me up um, asking me like, what happened to your braces? Last video, well, video before you told us that you was getting your braces taken off what happened why you changed your mind why is your brace still on have you had any adjustments things like that things like that and i'm here in this video to answer those questions and to give y'all the reason why i haven't got my braces taken off yet all right so that day that i posted my video i want to say it was like three weeks ago and i said that i was going to get my braces taken off i actually went to the dentist the next day to get my braces taken off <laughs> which is funny let me tell you so I went to my dentist and um, basically went in, signed in, everything like that, ready to get my braces taken off. So I seen this platter with all these tools and like equipment and stuff like that. So I'm looking at all this stuff like, what is all this? She was like, oh, we're gonna do a fill-in today. And I'm just like, you can't do a fill-in, I'm pregnant. She was like, no, 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 we know you're pregnant, but um, you know, basically when we take your braces off, we have to like uh, clear, you know, I guess, the, the the glue that the braces are on, they have to like clean that off. They have to like uh, fill in any cavities that you may have, you know, since you are in braces. Um, and I was just like, okay. So as they're proceeding to take my braces off, I then stop for like a second. I'm just like, hold up, wait. I don't know if y'all recall in the, the last video, I actually, a couple of my braces video, I talked about this incident that I have um, and it's basically about, I have, um, it's not pregnancy gingivitis, but it's something kind of like that where it causes my gums to swell up very big and my gums bleed very easily and my gums are very sensitive right now. So I don't want to give an up close view of how my teeth look and how my gums are. My teeth are fine. It's just my gums are like, if you go on Google and you search like, your gums going over your braces you will see where some people have like the t their teeth straight and then they'll have like tight gums where it's tight and then you have some people with straight teeth and then their gums going up through like their teeth so like basically my gums are coming up like and in, in from the top coming down so i've talked about this incident in a couple braces braces videos so basically that's my issue so i basically addressed this issue to her and i basically asked her once the braces come off, are my gums going to remain swollen? What's going to happen with that situation? So she looked at my gums and my gums are really all just kind of going up like that and like down like that because when I got pregnant, it just got 10 times worse. It was already bad prior to pregnancy, but now that I'm pregnant, it's definitely worse. So she told me that they may shrink a little, but they're pretty much going to look like that. So of course, Nobody wants to walk around with just like teeth and gums going up like that. Like you can literally just see my gums going. Basically, that's exactly how it'll look. Like, like you know how the zigzags like that. Basically, that's how my gums are made. So basically, once the braces come off, that's all you're going to see is teeth and gums going up. And they can't do any reconstructive surgery on my gums right now because I am pregnant. I still have three, three and a half months to go before this baby is born. So I will literally have to go through the rest of my pregnancy with nothing but gum showing, or I can choose to keep the braces in my mouth until either closer to me having a baby. So once I have the baby, I can go back and just kind of like get the um, surgery done, or I can keep the braces on until after the baby um, and things like that. But 
Sometimes with keeping old braces on for so long and all this plaque and just gunk just sitting in your braces can actually cause um, a lot of cavities and things. So I actually go to the dentist two to three months to get a cleaning just to make sure everything is intact, make sure no new cavities are coming in. Um, so I pretty much plan on <clears throat> keeping my braces in until I have the baby. And then once I have the baby, um, then I'll go back. Probably within like two or three weeks after having the baby, I'll go in, I'll probably get the um, my braces taken off and get the surgery. Or my second option, just so my brace can stay kind of like in good shape, I can either go to a new orthodontics and make an appointment and start my braces journey over again and just keep it like that. But it's kind of like, I don't know, some of you may have had braces in the past, some of you may not. I'm to a point in my braces journey where I don't feel like the orthodontics I had was doing a good job as far as my teeth go because I just see a lot of imperfections that's still wrong with my teeth. Um, I feel like maybe he aligned them a little better than what they were prior to getting braces, but I don't feel like he did much. Um, if I look at pictures before braces and look at pictures now, I just don't see a difference. Um, even when I was in treatment, I still wasn't really seeing a difference and I was supposedly almost done with my braces at that point. Um, but I just really don't see a difference in my teeth. Um, I just feel like it, it could have been better. So I just kind of overall just stopped the whole um, orthodontic treatment with that particular orthodontics and pretty much they charged me the full price for my braces because I stopped treatment. So now I owe them all this money and it's kind of hard to get with anybody else because they're just kind of like, well, you're going to have to pay us five to a hundred, well, 500 to a thousand dollars up front for us to even do anything with these or take them off and start treatment over again. Like it's just, it's a whole big mess. And when you have so many kids with just a lot going on in your life, you just can't just up a thousand dollars to orthodontics and be like, here you go. Um, yeah, get started on my teeth. So that's just kind of been a hassle with me when it comes to my braces. I haven't had an adjustment since June of this year. So it's been a while since I had an adjustment. Um, I've been constantly getting my cleanings though because a lot of people be like, ew, that's nasty. Girl, you ain't got your teeth done. You ain't you ain't got your, yes, I, I've been getting my teeth cleaned at least like, um, so you know. So that's the situation as far as my braces go right now. Um, and that's why I didn't get them taken off because I just was not gonna walk around with like gummy, gummy, just gummy. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna walk around gummy for the next three to four months. No. So that's the situation. I do plan on either taking them out for good and just kind of wait until the baby gets a little older until I'm comfortable enough to go through that pain again, start the treatment over again, or I don't know. It's just I just have so many options. I don't know whether I want to start a treatment, start my treatment now because I'm pretty sure I could possibly find someone that would be a little more reasonable as far as my braces go. Um, but I have actually found an orthodontics that was a lot reasonable um, compared to like the higher end orthodontics I tried to go to. Um, and this one orthodontics I found, they actually told me to use these braces the brackets and everything they would just charge me i think it was like two hundred dollars but i don't want to say i'm bougie because i'm not but <coughs> when i have people in my mouth and just doing like like medical work in my mouth or like cosmetic work in my mouth i want y'all building an office to look reasonable and i guess like nice and theirs was a little off to me, like maybe just, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I salute them, but I, I didn't really see many customers. It just didn't look nice to me. It just kind of looked nasty. And I was just like, you know, no, I don't think I'm going there. So, um, yeah, I just got to figure out what is my plan from now. Um, if you guys have any, anyone that's watching this video, if you have any suggestions on what you think I should do now, um, I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant. Um, do you think I should 
find somebody that's a little more reasonable with the price continue my braces journey do you think i should get my braces taken off now um and like what do you you guys think i should do let me know in the comments if you want to comment let me know in the comments what you think i should do but yeah that concludes this video um that's all i wanted to come back and discuss today because i did have a couple people asking me like what happened he was saying that your braces was get ta getting taken off and they're not so but yeah that's that's the situation so so like i said in the be beginning of the video just make sure you subscribe like comment turn your post notifications on and all that because harmony b squad is where you need to be